Hello and welcome to another edition of the Avid Screencast. My name is Christian Förster and today I want to show you how to create the so-called Pleasantville effect, as you can see it here, in which the whole image is black and white, except for one color, in this case red. At the last week's show I thought we could do with a little shiny, so, so let's do this thing. For this effect we need two video layers, each with the same video, so I have created a sequence with two layers of video that have the exact same video on layer 1 and layer 2. First, let's create the black and whiteness of the image. Go to Tools, Effect Palette, Image, and just drag and drop the color effect on video layer 1. Now let's go into Effect Mode, and turn the saturation way down and maybe just increase the contrast a little. Well, now that the image is black and white, we need to reveal the red color of uh, Miss Santa here. Again, go to the effect palette, go to key, and use the spectrum mat and drag and drop it onto video layer 2. If you're used to using the chroma key instead, just don't. The spectrum mat is way, way, way superior, so use that if in any way possible. Now let's create the key effect. In the spectrum mat effect you can actually see what color is being keyed. Now it's this blue, this light blue here, and you can even see what neighboring colors are still being affected and how soft the transition is from what is keyed to what is not keyed. That is very, very cool and very, very visual and easy to understand. Now just drag and drop the color picker to the red of Miss Santa here. And I can actually see that the red is being affected, the red is being keyed out. And it looks very, very good right from the start. You can adjust the tolerance a little, but this actually affects a bit of the halo. This is not a very high quality image, so there's a lot of compression artifacts that are being affected. By clicking Show Alpha, you can actually see what parts of the image are being affected. And you can see there are still parts of the image that we actually don't want to be affected. So let's play with the key saturation line. Get off the Show Alpha. Now you can see that there's a bit of halo again. But it's, it's sufficient, I think. Now we need to invert the key because, of course, you want the image to look exactly the other way around with the red of Santa's code uh, visible and the rest black and white. There is no option to invert the alpha in the spectrum head effect as it is, but you can promote it to 3D by clicking the little 3D button here. Go to foreground and now there's the option to invert the key. So we're done with the spectrum and it looks pretty good, but you can still see some red uh, on the bathtub here and we actually don't want that, so let's cancel that out too. Go back to the effect palette and Alt or Option drag the animate effect onto video layer 2. That puts the animate effect on top of the spectrum mat. Go to effect mode. and just draw a rectangle on the part that you want hidden. Now this is obviously not what we want, we want it to work the other way around, so change the mode to key out, and boom, you're done. This actually looks very nice. Now of course, if the image was moving a lot, uh, you'd have to animate the animat, which might be a hassle, but in this case, it works really, really well. The animat effect is not real time, so you have to render it to watch it while playing anyway. And there we go. Now isn't that nice? <laughs> Doesn't that give you a nice warm fuzzy feeling, that <laughs> pleasant feel effect on the guy shooting the other guy in the bathtub and Miss Santa watching all over it? Well, that's theater for you, right? It's supposed to be like that.
All right. With that, I'm thanking you for watching this episode of the Avid Screencast. If you want, uh, you can go ahead and subscribe to the podcast at avidscreencast.com or on the iTunes store. Just search for Avid Screencast and it will come right up. Or just search for Avid, it should come right up too. If you have any comments or suggestions, future show topics or anything you'd like to tell me, drop me a line at mail at avidscreencast.com or just comment on the website. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash avidscreencast and visit my Facebook page at avidscreencast.com slash Facebook. If you'd like to visit my professional website, check out editguy.de and watch what I'm doing when I'm actually working for money. <laughs> and uh, once again, thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.